It is a pleasure to be here for my eighth Xian Yan Fan, hosted by the American Chamber of Commerce Taiwan. It is also heartening that for eight straight years I have been able to sit down with you all for a nice meal and good conversation. So thank you again for making this night such a welcoming tradition. For over 70 years, Amtian has given Taiwan a steadfast support. And more than that, it has been an essential link connecting Taiwan with the United States and the global community. So I give my heartfelt thanks to M. Chain, its leadership, and all its members for everything you have done for Taiwan. The success of the Taiwan-U.S. partnership is in no small part thanks to your efforts. In the past few years, we have navigated through many twists and turns, from U.S.-China trade tensions to unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We have witnessed events that have shaken up the global political order and sparked widespread inflation. Nevertheless, Taiwan has emerged from these challenges stronger. We have continued on a path of stable economic growth, showing just how resilient and adaptable our economy our industry and our people really are. Overall, Taiwan's economy has maintained robust performance. From 2016 to 2023, we averaged over 3.1% economic growth, outpacing the global average. And in 2021, we saw a record 6.62%. We're very glad to have you with us along the way and appreciate your continued confidence in Taiwan. It is fair to say that across various metrics, Taiwan is proving resilient and reliable in the face of uncertainty. I would like to thank you for your vote of confidence and assure you that we are doing our utmost to put Taiwan in the best possible position so that we can remain competitive. And since 2016, we have implemented several plans, such as our forward-looking infrastructure development program, six core strategic industries policy, and Taiwan's pathway to net zero emission in 2050, all aimed at future-proofing our infrastructure and industries. Infrastructure and technology are crucial but the real part of excellence in Taiwan is in the people. That is why these past several years we have been doing even more to strengthen our human capital. Launched in 2018, our Taiwan Employment Go Card makes it easier for international talents to live and work in Taiwan. To date, over 9,000 of these cards have been issued. Last November, we established our International Talent Taiwan Office. This one-stop facility provides services to foreign professionals, ranging from visa application to even their children's education. Together with other programs like the Go, Go Card, the office is part of our efforts to make Taiwan a hub for world-class talents. Of course, in these efforts, we cannot overstate the part played by the Taiwan Enduring Partnership with the United States. This year will mark the 45th anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act. This legislation has been the cornerstone of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. The Taiwan Relations Act has also brought Taiwan and the U.S. closer over the last for decades. The U.S. has become our second largest trading partner, which Taiwan is the eighth largest trading partner in the United States. And the U.S. is Taiwan's largest, third largest source of foreign capital. It has been, without a doubt, a remarkable time for Taiwan-U.S. relations. 
All of it was made possible thanks to the work of so many people here in Taiwan and in the U.S. So tonight, I want to thank Ang Chang and its members again for a fruitful eight years. Thank you. Now, the future. On January 13 this year, Vice President Lai ching was elected as our next president. While no one can tell what the future has in store, I am confident to say that Taiwan will continue to stay on the right path to keep the political and economic landscapes stable and secure, and to uphold continuity and stability in its policies. We will advance steadily onwards, thanks to the solid foundations that you all helped to lay. I'm sure that as we continue down the road of freedom and democracy, both Taiwan and Amsterdam will continue to reach new achievements and set even higher goals. Thank you for the invitation. I hope you all have a very pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you.